the trampoline. I I I told I told this on my YouTube channel. I thought I was gonna be like some like crazy high flyer. It was gonna be so awesome. And then in training, I was probably about a year and a half in. <laughs> they had us do that that four corners drill where every, one person stands on the top turnbuckle in each corner, and then you have two people in the ring doing cr running crisscross. And you have to hold your balance while standing oh, on the top okay. buckle, yeah, all four yeah. of you at the same time. Yeah, yeah. That was it. I was like, nope, this is not for Taylor <laughs> Hendricks. Nope, nope. I wasn't even Taylor Hendricks yet. I was like, nope, nope, not for me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to yeah, stay yeah. right here on the ground. I will yeah. catch your high-flying stuff. I will I will take almost whatever you want. I am not a high-flying. <laughs> you know what? When I started, I was like 30 kilo lighter. I did all the high flying stuff. I did head scissors. I did like top rope jumping mm -hmm. stuff, but no mm -hmm. more, no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's what's funny is we come into this with these preconceived notions of, oh yeah, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. And then we actually try and we're like, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> like I'm a, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. And it occurred to me after that moment, I was like, why am I not using this knowledge? Like, okay. <laughs> why am yeah. I sitting here trying to be like this high flyer, trying to do swanton bombs and corkscrew moonsaults and an up and yeah. over flipping in leg drop? I'm like, what? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't. I can't do this. Why am I not using what I already have? Like, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> to get more complicated. Mm -hmm. um, I remember the last time we spoke, you started getting into how the alpha female persona came about for you. Mm. And I would really love for you to go back into that because I thought it was um, a story that should be told more. So, please. okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, again, I was like super light. I was pale. I had long black hair and I was super shy, but I was still confident enough to go to a tryout. So, I went to the TNA tryout back in the days can't remember when I think it was about 2010 or something um okay I have to be honest the tryout wasn't really good like it could have been better <laughs> um but still I went afterwards to get my feedback you know and I was asking hey um what can I do better what do you need from me so I can get hired for your company um and they gave me an honest feedback they said do you think you are as sexy as our girls you know and back in the day there was engineer love and velvet sky like <coughs> wow they're they're freaking sexy yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> and i said well no i'm not you know i was skinny but not as skinny as them you know and they said well then you have your answer and i was so like i was like what the hell, like, I can never be as sexy as them, like, this is insane, right, so I, I went home crying, uh, and then I decided, if I cannot be sexy, I want to be a monster, so I shaved my hair, and I made, like, this really ugly face makeup, you know, like, all black, and did everything to not be pretty, you know, and then I started to train like a crazy person, and I started to getting muscles, getting bigger, uh, I changed my gear. I took gold for being a champion and black because it's supposed to be, make you skinny. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I needed to find a new name. And it was kind of interesting because my boyfriend back in the day, he was a wrestler and he was at a show. And then he said to the girls, it was not true. He said to the girls, um, my girl is at home. She's jealous. And the girls were saying, why is Jessie jealous? She's the alpha female. And we're like, boom, this is my wrestling name. <laughs> so <laughs> and then I started to be, you know, like the, the destroyer, you know, like, and it worked really well. I was kind of one of the first, you know, in Europe, you know, being just, you know, brutal. And I don't care for the looks and just wrestle. And yeah, that's how the alpha female came along. I love it. it it's, it's just something that... I could never be. I'm not built to be this like monster. I mean, I'm five foot seven and I'm the shortest person in my immediate family. Like I'm the shrimp. Yeah, it's like crazy. People think I'm like super tall and I'm like, nah, man, my mom, my little sister, and my dad, they're all taller than me. I asked them to reach the top shelf. Like I could never be like what you are. And that's why I love that. I think that there's, I think there's a market for almost anyone that's Absolutely. what to me is so exciting about wrestling like i think i could never be angelina love 
Like, I could mm. never do that. I could never be her. There's only one her. There's only one yeah. you for yeah. a reason, you know? And to me, that's what makes stuff like this so exciting, you know? Yeah. Uh, neither of us could be Shotzi Blackheart, you know? There, yeah. There's only one person, you know? And if it's already being done, why do you want to duplicate instead yeah. of being something new and exciting, you know? Yeah. And I think we should be <laughs> proud, you know, like, for having all these different <laughs> sizes because, you know, like in the news, you know, like, you see all these supermodels and they say, okay, these girls are sexy, but it's not true. Big girls are sexy, small girls are sexy, chubby girls are sexy, you know? Like, And I think wrestling is the perfect world for it. If you look at WWE, you have all these different characters. <laughs> you have a Nia Jax, you have a Kyrie Sane, but they're all amazing and they all deserve to be there, you know? And yeah. I think it's a great message for all all the girls out there yes especially with pro wrestling being geared towards children i think it's a great lesson to learn mm -hmm. when you're young like if you're going to be an industry that is geared towards children <laughs> at least give them some semblance of self-love confidence mm -hmm. happiness and success mm -hmm. and let it know that it doesn't look the same for everyone just like no mm -hmm. no two bodies look exactly the same you know mm -hmm. i i never got got over ma getting made fun of on live television like i never got over that it took me so long to be confident in my own skin and to love myself like it took me 30 years like it wow, wasn't until okay. i turned 30 that i was like oh maybe i am cute like, okay. you are. Like, what the hell you are yeah, i was like well, well maybe i'm not as stupid or as bitter as people think i am maybe maybe i'm just telling it how it is you know maybe oh, no, i should that. love I'm myself going to beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> you know and it took me like 30 years and i wrote this yeah. blog called cheers to 30 years because i was mm -hmm. like wow you know it's a daily struggle but i did it you know i never looked at myself as sexy never mm -hmm. you know like i i uh like people always ask me where did you come up with your last gimmick you know how mm -hmm. did you come up with that crazy gear and how does it stay mm -hmm. together without falling apart <laughs> like all this crazy stuff and i was like and i never really answered and i was like to be honest this gimmick came about because i was bullied in front of my mom mm -hmm. i was booked at a comic